My name is Peter Donahue. I'm a contracting officer in the Contracts Management Office here at DARPA, and let's talk about doing business with DARPA. DARPA's role is to invest in breakthrough technologies that create and prevent strategic surprise. CMO's role in that is to support the DARPA program managers who are coming up with the groundbreaking uh, revolutionary ideas for achieving DARPA's goals. Uh, in that role, CMO, uh, the Contracts Management Office, um, helps program managers from the very beginning uh, in developing their solicitations, their acquisition strategies, all the way through the solicitation and selection process, through award and post-award administration. You know, there are always a couple of myths uh, about working with the government or maybe working with DARPA. You know, one that I often hear is our organization has never done business with the government before. The obstacles to doing business with the government are so high that they may never be able to do business with the government. Uh, and that's not the case. This is one of TTO's goals, is to work with more non-traditional companies, commercial companies who have not done business with the government before. Non-traditional performers are always enjoyable to work with because they are often bringing uh, a commercial technology to the table that they're finding a new and innovative way to apply to the TTO problem set. Whatever that, whatever that, whatever that is, uh, they are often uh, able to come up with an innovative way to uh, take that commercial technology uh, that they developed and help TTO achieve its objectives in a particular research area. And I've seen that under many different programs that I've supported here for TTO. That's one of the beauties of working with DARPA is that we have the flexibility to use innovative award instruments like other transactions for prototypes to help accommodate non-traditional performers who maybe have not done business with the government before. TTO is using a broad agency announcement to solicit proposals for this particular effort, Innovative Systems for Military Missions. TTO has very clearly uh, laid out the uh, areas of interest, the goals for uh, ground, air, space, maritime, and um, we are relying on you, the proposers, to come up with the innovative ideas, the uh, revolutionary concepts to meet those areas of interest uh, that TTO has spelled out in the BAA. For that reason, there is no statement of work attached to this BAA. We are not uh, mandating uh, any solution to meet these areas. We are relying on you uh, to come up with uh, the breakthrough, game-changing concepts. So in closing, the primary points that I want to make are read the BAA in its entirety, follow the executive summary, white paper, and full proposal submission process, follow the instructions in the solicitation when you're putting together your technical proposal and your cost proposal, and not just because it's required, but because it benefits your organization to do so because the government reviewer or reviewers who are assigned to evaluate your proposal will be able to actually understand the story that you're trying to tell and it assists them in making a determination on whether or not to fund your proposal. And then lastly, if your proposal is selected for award, it helps the contracting officer make that award faster. Thank you, and on behalf of the Contracts Management Office here at DARPA, we look forward to working with you.